Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter two is tip tax in total. Okay, so write a program that calculates the total amount of a, of a meal, meal purchased at a restaurant. The program should ask the user to enter the charge for the food and then calculate the amount of an eight, of a 18% tip, a 7% sales tax. Okay, okay, so of a 18% tip and 7% sales tax. Display each of these amounts and the total. Okay. So basically, a customer is going to buy food or meal a meal at a restaurant. So the program is going to first um, ask the user to enter the meal, the, the I mean the price of the meal, how much he or she paid for the meal. It's going to calculate an an eighteen an eighteen percent tip and a seven percent sales tax, and basically it's going to display each of these amounts and the total. Okay, so first let's let, let's just let's go ahead and start. The program, the first thing we, the program, the question wants us to do is write a program that calculates the total amount. Um, let's see. The program should ask the user to enter the charge for the food. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask the user to enter the charge of the food. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the input function and ask the user to enter. Please enter the charge of the food. Okay, and once the user types in something whatever is going to be typed is going to be stored or returned as a string but because we can't use strings in calculation we need to convert whatever the user typed which is stored as a string into a number so we can use it into cal in, use it in the calculation all right so in this case I, I want to go ahead and convert whatever the user typed into a float because it's a, it's a dollar amount so user can type in twenty five dollars and twenty five cents so I'm going to go ahead and convert whatever the user has typed into a float, and I'm going to use a float function and surround everything that the user has typed with parentheses. So I'm, I'm basically surrounding everything that that, that the user has typed, which is this highlighted um, function and string here. I'm surrounding everything with parentheses and converting it into a float. Okay, so there's a float float function converting what the user has typed into a float. Okay, so. Once we convert into a float, we need to, we need a place to store it. We need a place to store what is as typed. I mean, for the the charge of the food. So I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to call it food charge. Okay, food charge is going to be the price of the of the meal. Okay. Oh, let let me name it. Um, let's say price of the meal. Price of the meal. Well, why not? Price of the meal. Price of meal. Price of meal. Okay. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it Price of meal. Okay, that's going to hold what, the, how much the user paid for the meal. Okay, so what, same, once we have the price of the meal, okay, the program should ask the user to enter the charge for the food. Okay. Uh, let me keep consistent with the question. Okay, I named this something like charge of charge for the food. So I'll go ahead and I name this food charge. Okay, sorry about that. It's just I'm just playing with words here. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just trying to keep it consistent with the question. Okay, so food charge is going to be charge for the food. All right, so we've I, I'm, we've, we've um, accepted that from the user, and then the program should go ahead and calculate the amount of a 18% tip. Okay, let me go ahead and change this to n. <laughs> Sounds better that way. And then calculate the uh, the amount of an 18% tip. Oh, 18. But you can name it, uh, and uh, what, what, uh, uh, you can name it. <laughs> the question actually comes with 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 eh, uh, but I'm I think anything that starts with a vowel takes an n. But I think I understand why they use eh. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> I keep it. I keep it the, the way the question was. I, don't mind me. Okay, sometimes I go crazy like that. Don't mind me. Okay, and then calculate the amount of an 18% tip. All right, so we need to go ahead and calculate. An eight, um, an eighteen percent tip, okay, on this food charge. So, eighteen percent, okay. We need to calculate eighteen percent of food charge, and that's going to be the tip. So, I'm going to open up a calculator here, and um, okay. So, eighteen percent, which is eighteen divided by a hundred. That's eighteen percent. This is the same as zero point one eight. So, zero point one eight is the same as eighteen percent. Okay. So, let's go ahead and calculate the tip okay so tip is going to be equal to 18 percent which we knew as 0 0.18 okay 0 0.18 okay 18 percent of 
food charge. Okay, you can read the mul multiplication sign as off. So 18% off food charge. Okay, and that's going to give us our tip. All right, so now we have our tip. Okay, so it should, it, it should then calculate the amount of 18% tip and 7% sales tax. So now we need to go ahead and calculate the sales tax. And we know it's 7%. 7% off the food charge. Okay. So sales tax is going to be equal to 7% of the food charge. Now, 7%, same way with the previous tip and the tip. Okay. 7%, which is, is the same as 7 divided by 100. And that gives you 0 0.07. So 0 0.07 is, is the same as 7%. So sales tax is equal to 7%, which is 0 0.07 off. You can read the multiplication sign as off. Oops, yeah, food charge. Okay, so 7%, okay, 7% sales tax. 7% off food charge gives you, gives you the sales tax. Display each of these amounts and the total. So we have these amounts, we have these amounts. Now we need to calculate the total. So I'm going to create another variable, total. And total is going to be first how much the user paid for it, which is food charge plus the tip and plus the sales tax. So now we have the total. And the program says display each of these amounts. So all we have to do is just display them. So I'm going to call a print function and start passing in a couple of arguments. So the first argument I want to pass in is just a regular string. I'm going to say each of these arguments, let's start with food charge. So food, I'm going to say food charge. And I'm going to go ahead and concatenate it with the formatted version of food charge. But, uh, but the format function takes two arguments. The first argument is what you're formatting, which is in this case is food charge. And the second argument is how you want it formatted. So let me just space this out a little bit. Okay, the first argument is food charge, and the second argument is how you want it formatted. So, I want it formatted first. It's a float. So, okay, so I want I want it formatted as a float. So I'm going to put it, um, type an F for a float, and I want it formatted with two decimal places. So I'm going to type in point two. Point two stands for two decimal places. So I'm going to put that before the F, the type. So format it as a float with two decimal places and put commas commas where necessary, meaning if it's a dollar a dollar amount, let's say if it's five thousand dollars, write it as five comma zero zero zero. Okay. If it's a million, write it as five comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. Put the commas where necessary. Do it automatically. So when you put the comma before the precision point two before the type, that it's going to go ahead and do that automatically for you. And I'm going to go ahead and put a dollar sign here. So it displays as a real dollar amount. Okay, so that's the first argument that's going to go in the print function. All right, so the second argument is going to be something very similar, which is something very similar to this, okay? Um, write the program, oh, okay, let's see. Display each of these amounts and the total. So I first dis we first displayed the full charge. The next thing we're going to display is a tip. And it's going to take this similar format, okay? so. I'm, I just put the comma here, so I'm going to go ahead and type, or add tip, and I'm going to go ahead and concatenate that with the with the formatted version, the formatted version of um, tip, and I, this is how I wanted it, I wanted formatted. I wanted formatted just just as this way, okay, just like this. So I wanted formatted as a float with two decimal places and, a, and commas where necessary. And go ahead and add a dollar sign here. Okay, now because this string is crossing this line, this line is like a guideline to help me try try and keep 80 characters on a, on a single line. I've exceeded 80 car characters on a single line. So the reason I don't want to do that is like, it's a Python thing. We're trying, I think they tried to limit 80 characters on a single um, on a single line. So because I've exceeded it, I need to break it to on, onto a new line. And before you, I'm going to break it somewhere here, where the cursor is now, here. So before I break it, before you break anything in, in any line in Python, you have to 
type the backslash and then you, you before you break it so backslash before I break it like this okay type the backslash before you break it okay so now I have my tip formatted nicely with a dollar sign in front of it next thing I'm going to display is sales tax so sales tax is going to take this uh, a very similar format so I'm going to just instead of typing I'm going to copy and paste one of these arguments actually like this the whole of this argument to where the comma is okay and copy it and I'll paste it here as another argument and I'll change the label to sales tax and I'll put the dollar amount here and I'm formatting sales tax this variable and I'm formatting it the same way as I formatted the other ones okay so the next one I'm going to do I'm going to display the next thing I want to display is the total now I know that I'm going to exceed this line so I'm going to break it here so before I break it make sure you put the um, it's fine it's fine yeah I was about to say make sure you put the, the comma all right so I put the comma there it's fine all right so after the comma I'm going to type in oops what did I do after the comma I'm going to type in a backslash before I break the line so I'm going to type in a backslash which I've done and I'll hit enter I've broken the line all right so the next thing I'm going to display is the total I have what I copied here I have it co co um, in still copied in the clipboard so I'll go ahead and paste it oops so I put the cursor in the wrong place so I'll put the cursor here and I'll paste it and that's it's after the comma so that's another argument but this is just to um, indicate that I'm continuing or I'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm continuing this line on a new line so I'll paste what I what I copied and I'll change the label to to total and I'm formatting it I'm formatting the variable total the same way if I'm formatting the other ones I'm putting a dollar sign in front of it here okay so now we're done I'm just going to go ahead and debug this and save the file and I'll save this as tip tax total tip tax total and before I do um, before I do that I'm going to create a folder in this folder and I'll call it tip tax total and then I'll save it here as tip, tip tax total dot pi okay all right, so now it's asking us please enter the charge of the food I'm going to type in two hundred dollars okay now food charge is two hundred dollars tip is thirty six dollars sales tax is this total is that okay now there's one problem it's displaying horizontally it would be nice if it displays vertically this is fine but we just want to, I just wanted to, to display it vertically so it looks this way instead of that way okay so by default um, the, th the the separator or the the thing that separates the individual argument in the print function is a space. So I can go ahead and change it from a space to a new line character. Now, if you see here, food charge is separated by this space. Tip is separated by this space. Oops, this space. Sales tax is separated by this space. Okay. All right. So by default, what separates these arguments you pass into the print function is a space. So this argument here. All the way to the comma is one is one. This whole string of stuff here is all the way to the comma is another one, and this last one, I'm uh, not last one. This this one also is, is another one before the comma, and then this is the last one here before the comma. So comma means I'm going to add one more. Um, I'm going to add one more argument, and that argument is what's going to change the default separator which is a space into a new line character so I'm going to add one more argument which is SEP which stands for separator is going to I'm changing it from space to a new line character so backslash n together is a new line character so it's basically it's basically a new line character basically break separates these arguments with a new line so that that's what that's what it's saying all right so I'll go ahead and debug this and I'm going to type in $200 for 
with the charge of the food. And now it says food charge is $200, tip is $36, sales tax is $14. It's added the $14 to the $36 and added it to the, the charge of the food, which is $200. And now it's saying that the total is $250. So it works. And we can see that it's separating each of these arguments that we pass into the print function with a new line. And, and it's good. OK, so if you have any questions, please comment down below. And I'll do everything, everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time with the next program. Bye-bye.